show. Well, Waihi Beach has nine Ks of sweeping white sand. What a fantastic place to be. It's also one of the safest surf beaches in New Zealand. You too. And awesome to be here. What a shame to have to spend some time here at uh, Waihi Beach today. And you actually live and work here, so I'm a little jealous. Well, you should be. <laughs> it's one of the best places in New Zealand, of course. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> now, it's an awesome spot. This yes. is the surf club. Tell me what happens here. Well, this is the surf club, and you can see by the location, it's got to be the best place to be. I mean, you're right on the beachfront. Uh, surf club's been here since uh, the mid-30s, 1935 I think it's, it first started and it's a place that actually involves the whole family so it's not just about some uh, young 20s who go out and do it in the surf, it's about the little guys coming in as nippers and training and it's about working through and being part of the community as a whole so it involves the children right through to the parents so it's, it's an integral part of our community, very much so. How popular is it for um, visitors over the summer? Over the summer we're packed out, I mean the beach sort of sits around 2,500 people from uh, Athenry through to Waihi Beach and uh, over summer we're well over 25,000 people so you can see that a lot. <laughs> two or three people on the beach today and at summer there's thousands so yeah. it's a whole yeah. different place. So what kind of events and activities uh, will be taking place over the summer period? So probably most iconic is, is New Year's Day where we have all the families on the beach, it's a kids day really and it's something uh, that involves all those good old things that you used to do as a family, the sack races, the uh, the runs, all of those sorts of things that a family can get involved in and do. And interestingly enough, it's a, an event that is the lo longest running in New Zealand of its kind. So again, from the mid-1930s, it's been running as a family event, New Year's Day, and everybody's here. Fantastic. So it's a great thing to do. You've also got a sandcastle building competition or something. That's right, you? on the third. So on the second, we have a Bowen Town to Waihi Beach uh, run, walk, or whatever, about that, those 10 kilometres. And then on the third, we have our sandcastle building day and people actually come specifically to build sandcastles here because that's what they do. Oh, yeah. And what a great way to spend some good quality family time. Absolutely, the interesting thing too of course is talking about nippers is that we have families from the Waikato, families from Auckland who come down from Labour weekend right through to Easter and they stay in the holiday parks and they stay in the batches and they bring their kids along here every Sunday and they do the training so you don't have to live at Waihi Beach to become a lifeguard, you can actually train here Come down, make this your holiday destination over summer and it's something that the children can learn and contribute their bit to the awesome community. skills too, mm, isn't fantastic. it? Fantastic. So, mm. fabulous. Now it's nicely located to, uh, I must say, rather a nice holiday park. It's not a bad <laughs> holiday park. It's, uh, interestingly enough, this uh, holiday resort uh, is uh, arguably one of the oldest in New Zealand. At uh, The first photos we have are uh, 1899 with a tent there. Mm. Uh, back then, of course, it was more a workers' uh, camp because behind me here on the headland used to be a gold mine and uh, the old poppet head was up there and there was, wasn't all that bush there. And, of course, that's where all the miners stayed. So there was a cock house and there were cocks and that's where the miners basically lived uh, while they mined. Um, 1920s, the newspapers described this place as Waihi Beach Resort and it was a place that people came to rejuvenate and to take a break from the main gold mining of course in Waihi. So interestingly enough that the holiday park now calls themselves a holiday resort and it sort of actually has its roots back in the 1920s when it was called that anyway. Uh, and I hear it's a pretty special park as in resort, it's, it's quite up there really. It's got a lot of... Uh, Attributes there, it's got a wonderful uh, 25 metre heated swimming pool all year round and spa and gym and under fives family room and it's uh, quite marked one of the highest uh, holiday parks in New Zealand. Wow. So awesome. it's done fairly well, it's won quite a lot of major awards as well. Wow, hmm. well, how can people find out more Ian? Look, the best website to go to find out what's happening at the beach, where the accommodation is, what the activities are, is to waihibeachinfo.co.nz. So I'll say that again, waihibeachinfo.co.nz and there you'll find everything that you need to know about what to do, where to stay, where to go, how to get here. Fabulous. Well, you're a man that's involved in so many things in the area. 
Do you play tennis as well? I used to play tennis, but I don't have a lot of time. I carry the uh, the role of Chief Fire Officer here that keeps me busy. I sit on the uh, board of Tourism Bay of Plenty and, of course, very much involved in both Waihi Beach Top 10 Holiday Resort and Beach Haven Holiday Park down the road. So you're a busy man. You've hardly got the time. <laughs> well, I'm off to play a game of tennis. I'll Great. catch you later. Well, just remember, if, after you've had tennis, head down to Flat White on the beach because you'll have a fantastic coffee or latte or skinny Flat White or whatever you need to do Auckland might think they have it, but we actually have the better location and just as good food and coffees. Oh cool, so you can right. beach it and have your coffee too. Exactly. Fantastic. I'll catch you later Ian. Thank you. Well, the Waihi Beach Tennis Club is about to have its 80th birthday, so big celebrations are coming up. I've got President Rob Hope with me. Great to meet you, Rob. Thank you. <laughs> Fabulous sight here. Tell me about the facilities. Uh, the facilities, uh, we've been here for 30 odd years, sorry, since 1930, and um, in the last 10 or 15 years we've done major developments in terms of new court surfaces, and we've been following that through with council and, and this, these two new courts have just finished in the last week or two so we're having an official opening on November the 5th which is Guy Fox Day so it'll be nice and fun. So yeah, we're pretty proud of, of the facility, we've got six fantastic courts and, and people love it. And of course you've grown from a smaller um, building to this large yeah, here so yeah. what, what's going to be incorporated in here? Yeah well this is this is about uh, six times bigger than what we've been used to so that's good we're, we're going to run some functions and and just and just use it differently because our membership has grown the last three to five years and, and continues to grow. So. so how many members? Uh, we're up to about 120 so yeah. probably five years ago we were about 60 so yeah. it's it's doubled and, and there's a lot of enthusiasm for what we're doing here. So. And what happens over the summer when you know you've got a whole stack? We know that it grows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So We've got a big city happening here. So yeah, yeah. So what happens if people want to play tennis? Um, it's during during normal times. It's a it's an honesty box system, and, yeah. and people just come and put their coins in and play, which is great. And we have organised tournaments, which is which has been happening. I've been involved for the last twenty years doing that, and, and well before that. And, Lots of people come back to those tournaments because mm. they enjoy it so much. Even we have if they a, don't live here. Absolutely, yeah, people, yeah. people come from Taupo, Hamilton, everywhere because they know that Waihi Beach is a cool little place to come to and, yeah. and play tennis here and, and it's relaxed. We, 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 we have a relaxed tournament so people sit around and they go for a swim and play tennis and have a beer afterwards. And, cool, and it's, so it's, it's all cool. good for tourist visitors oh. to join in. Yeah, yeah, They're all, everyone's encouraged to come and play basically. Mm. So. What activities are going to be happening over the summer? Activities wise, we have senior tournaments as well as open tournaments and junior tournaments. So that takes up about five to six days of, of that busy period from just before, just after Christmas through to the middle of January. So, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty busy because everyone is involved in the club is busy anyway with their, with their lives, obviously. And um, so it's all volunteer work and, and they love doing it. Great. Well, yeah. it's an awesome thing, really. Come down here, do some exercise, but have fun doing it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to have a few hits in a few moments, yeah. aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about that. <laughs> oh, that's all right. That's all right. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll go to through it. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's good. If people want to find out more, how can they do that? Um, we have we have um, signage around the place so people can ring locally, or we've got a website now which has been done by a local member, and it's uh, at sportsground.co.nz and what slash Waihi Beach. So. If you're on that medium, you can easily pick us up. Great. Yeah. So, if you want to play a game of tennis while you're here, having a great holiday here at Wahi Beach, make sure you do that. Up next, after the break, we're going to check out the village. Yeah.